What's up guys, welcome to another question of the day. Today's question has to do with capsular contracture and that question was, does your risk of capsular contracture increase with subsequent breast surgeries or is the risk the same with each procedure? In order for us to have this conversation, let's first talk about what, what a capsule is. I have my prop for a capsule and I have an implant. So first, what is a capsule? The way that I describe a capsule in the clinic is imagine that it's just like the medical glove that we wear where my hand is the implant and this thin layer or the medical glove is the actual capsule. So I just performed a capsulectomy. What happens is when you put a foreign body into the body, whether it's a breast implant, a knee implant, or a chin implant, the body's reaction is to say, this isn't supposed to be here, so we're gonna form a tissue layer surrounding this device called a capsule, and that capsule is what encompasses this implant. So imagine that glove around my hand, the capsule surrounds the implant. So what is she referring to in this question when she asked about capsular contracture? What can happen is over time, the capsule that surrounds the implant should be nice and soft, but what it can do is it can start to squeeze and get tight, and that's called a capsular contracture, and that can actually deform the implant and squeeze the implant into a little ball, and because the breast is attached to the top of the capsule and then the capsule to the implant, the breast itself gets drawn up and gets tighter and it looks quote unquote deformed or different than the other breast. That's called a capsular contracture. Why does it happen and when does it happen? It can happen in any time period, but 75% of capsular contractures occur within the first two years of implantation. After that, the rates are all over the place in the literature. So what do you do to treat that? To treat a capsular contracture, you have to actually remove the capsule with the implant and put a new implant. Why does it happen? We only have theories. One of the prevailing theories is called the biofilm theory, and that says that, or this describes, that this implant gets what's called a slime layer which develops around it in the breast pocket. It's not literally, you can't feel slime, it's at the microscopic level. There's a tissue layer that surrounds the implant, and the thought is that bacterial contamination embeds itself into that layer, sends a signal to the overlying capsule which stimulates it to then become contracted. It's only a theory, we haven't proven it. So the theory is bacterial contamination. So to answer her question, with every subsequent surgery that you have, Yes, you're increasing your risk of capsular contracture because you're increasing the risk of introducing bacteria into a non-contaminated pocket. That is why whenever I see people for breast revision surgery, I make darn sure that that's something that they wanna do and embark upon because we're taking a perfectly good pocket with no contracture, potentially, and introducing the risk of bacterial contamination which can lead to capsular contracture. So the answer to her question is yes, every time you go into the breast pocket, you're increasing the risk of obtaining a capsular contracture. Some patients go their whole life and never have one. Some patients get them right away, and some patients don't get them for a few years. Once you've had one, you're at risk for getting another one. There's a whole nother discussion we can have about how we handle capsular contraction, but that is a really good question, and I'm glad you asked it. So again, you guys ask the question, and I will answer it. Have a great day.